Yes, was there another question? There's a follow-up about the, the voodoo idea and using dolls and manipulating creation intent and you know good, evil, all this stuff. There's a follow-up about that if you'd like to cover it. Yeah, again, it's uh, ideas. And uh, it's people uh, going from one idea to another, and it's all the same. So you have the basics here uh, of survival, and the overall is learning to recognize uh, your real awareness. And again, this is what people have not been taught. So you have the systems here, and yes, it's uh, you can call it voodoo, white, black, magic, you can call it religion, you call it whatever you want. It's all the same thing. It's simply uh, you know, seeing what's really taking place here, uh, and if people want to be controlled, uh, and believe in gods and etc. and their campaign managers and uh, you know uh, etc. and their diplomats. Uh, fine, go for it because the end result is the same. Look at human history; it has not changed. It all stays the same, and you'll just keep reincarnating here because it's just simply reincarnation is simply a continuation. The body only lasts so long. Just like your car, it only lasts so long, then it goes to the junkyard, they take the same metal, they reform it, and they make a new car. So that new Honda that you're driving was probably your old Chevy in the 70s, you see? And they just reform it, and but you don't recognize it. You see, you don't, you don't go, well, gee, there's something familiar about this car. I don't know what it is, but, wow, it's like deja vu. Well, you know, you can use that idea too, but it's probably your old Chevy, you see? But it doesn't matter. The bigger, the, bigger, the bigger picture is to recognize your real awareness. And, you know, people really want freedom. They want real freedom, but they won't get it here, no matter what the systems do, no matter if everybody has free energy or whatever they have, free food, free energy, all the money in the world. It's not going to do it. It's only through your real awareness. You'll still grow old and come, and come back. It won't matter. Yeah, you can live the good life for a few moments, which many of us have for many lifetimes, and we're still back simply because it has nothing to do with your real awareness. Then you're okay. Then you're consciously aware every moment in a real position, I call it, yes. I have to uh, create uh, uh, new terms accordingly because they get mixed with the old terms, and then people take in the consideration, oh, this is this and this is this. You know, the little know-it-alls with their literal minds. Because life isn't about the literal mind. That's, that, would be, that would be like saying that your car knows what life is. Or your computer, when it doesn't. It's just something in creation. That becomes the difference. So it's learning to be objective and seeing what's going on, instead of mashing everything together, thinking that you're the body, you're the mind, you're the emotion, you're the feelings, all these things. This is what basically people think is this is what they are. Well, as long as they keep thinking that and agreeing to it, then that's what they are. That's all they are. They're vulnerable to everything. But through your real awareness, you become... Uh, to a point to where, no, nothing can affect you because your awareness supersedes time and space and creation and all the restrictions that you've agreed to previously. But that's a decision you make. Most people like their restrictions, so they're going to keep agreeing. It's a matter of choice. So with that said, why don't we just wrap that up? you got enough there, Chris. That's plenty. Yeah, that's plenty. That gives an idea. So that's number five. We'll see when we'll do the next one. I don't know if it'll be next week, but maybe it'll be a while. So we've said a lot out there. So that's five episodes. So we'll give it a while. Yes, thank you, everybody, for coming and sharing. It's all for you, as I said. So uh, you know, a little bit better understanding to deal with the world while we're here. Yeah. This is real. When you, the, the recording is amazing, by the way. And um, I was thinking to myself that uh, I think um, when people listen to this, if anybody can't see how simple it is, then they're really not ready. Because everything, will, I, I believe, was in this um, particular recording. And 
and outside of this, I think just the general, the, the information, the level of information and the depth of information that, that um, you're presenting, Dwayne, with a new presentation, I, I just think it's unbelievable. And I haven't seen this depth of information anywhere. And uh, since coming out of Christianity 12 years ago, I've looked at so many different things and uh, researched and uh, seen all the information that's that's going on, you know, with, with all the stuff with the vaccines and uh, just religion and all the systems. And uh, there are many people out there that say so many different things, but I haven't anywhere seen the amount and the depth of information that, that's presented with 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 a new presentation and uh i can only imagine that it must have taken something it must have taken you uh Dwayne, something uh to get at this stage where you are now because it's just awesome you know i can't i can't even find a word for it i really can't but it's, it's just real it's just so real well, I'm so glad you recognize it. It's so cool yeah. because, uh, yeah. again, it's uh, it's the being to being idea, and it's so great to to know people that finally do recognize some part of it. And the best part is, is that whatever I present, this is the start. You haven't seen yeah. nothing yet, yeah. And it's yeah. it's more so than the words themselves, but they they create and provide a reference. And yeah, it's. It is. It is awesome, and it uh, and it's like the sun shining. It's so simple, and it makes sense, but mm-hmm. yet it's overlooked. Yeah, it's always overlooked, and people go to their little ideas of phenomena, and then just get all entangled in in them, and uh, you know, wonder why it doesn't work. And uh, mm. it, it's very obvious, and so we're just uh, you know. Helping people along here a little bit if they'll just take the time and then they're okay. Yeah, it's so yes. simple. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I'm I'm really grateful. I'm so grateful and uh, I thank you. I really have to thank you for this. Well, thank you for showing up and sharing what you have too. And so it's all part of it. I, uh, you know, eventually you get to the part. It's the best. The best part is is that when you really sincerely get there, when you really want nothing. And you uh, are only interested in, uh, you know, uh, you know, providing a benefit. You know, you stand with the whole of life. That becomes really the best part. Is really getting beyond that personal self altogether. It really does mm-hmm. because that's how you free yourself. Because people can't free themselves when they continually want something for their personal mm-hmm. life. When actually everything's already available, all they simply have to do is stand with the reality life is and realize, wow, I really don't need anything. All I have to do is just simply go through the motions and uh, just have fun with the creative adventure and the challenge. And it comes about in some way anyhow, and you'll get what you need uh, on any level. And yes, you're going to have struggles there. It's not that you're going to always be provided. We all go through struggles. That's part of it, too, because that's part of the wake up. Uh, you know, and I, uh, you know, I don't like to see people struggle. I do the best I can and take all the time I can uh, to make sure that people are okay because I see the preciousness of their real awareness. And that's what mm-hmm. I see in each individual. I see them as beings of light. And to get them to focus there, to just see that a little bit, that's huge uh, mm-hmm. from from all the, uh, you know, all the, uh, distortion and the appearances of things, which is understandable too. It's a toughie. It's really a toughie because the biggest part, again, is the unconscious part that reflects uh, to where the individual is not conscious of that taking place. You see? That's the biggest part for the individual yeah. to recognize that. And that takes time. Yeah. 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 And the, the last uh, three weeks or so, um, I've been seeing that the the things that I maybe thought that I wanted, well, the, they're becoming less and less important to me. I don't really want those things anymore. So, you know, I've, I've started seeing that already. Well, what replaces yeah. that now is your real awareness to where, you know, there you're starting to recognize the freedom that you were always the real freedom that you've always been after, you see? So it's not mm-hmm. that you're not to want things. That's not the idea. 
and you will still want things and have things. Again, nothing is negated. Everything is fine. But now what you're doing is you're replacing uh, your real awareness with these, uh, w and without having to chase these things because, you know, if you need them, they're available. It's like a book on the shelf. You don't have to carry them around like we did when we were younger in school. Uh, we have the knowledge, and if we want to go to the book, we read it to get the knowledge or the information. But we don't have to carry it around anymore. It doesn't have to be a part of us. It's, it's now a separate thing is what it is. And so now we, it, the old ideas unfoldment or spiritual growth or whatever these ideas, but really it's more real than that, e even that. We get locked into these ideas thinking, oh, it's this or this. We start categorizing them, and what happens is, is that these categories become, uh, again, like they become the old books, carrying them around, and uh, we don't really need those categories. Uh, we just simply mm -hmm. see them as reference. And yeah, it just everything is a reference uh, to uh, and a comparison to the true reality because now we know about the isness. That was what was missing was the isness, yeah. and uh, yeah. having someone to present that that has the awareness to do so. And the old gurus and masters, and even the ones of today, they don't have any idea that it even exists. So again, this is where mm. people just keep going around in circles. And they just create new ideas that sound good, but it's the same old stuff. But they're missing the isness. They don't recognize that. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm. Because that's the mm -hmm. all aliveness life is. Yeah, that's the real life mm -hmm. is the isness to stand in that and recognize that more so than mm -hmm. just the breathing body. But the body is not mm -hmm. negated because of that, it has its place. Uh, you know, for the time that we use it, and that's it. Yeah. And then we're okay. You see, we're always okay. Mm. It's so cool, like the sun shining. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're wonderful, Frida. Thank you for stepping up, too. Yes, it's, uh, mm. you see... Everybody brings something. This is the everybody brings something. I do my part, everybody else does their part. And we really support each other <clears throat> by the very fact of how we recognize uh, what we do and what we contribute, you know. And that's so cool. And on this physical level, you see the indigenous people in their communities, you know, they supported each other. Today, it's not the same. They've been taught to, uh, you know, the communities of the world. There are communities, but they've been taught distortion. So everybody's kind of out for themselves. You know, who can climb mm -hmm. the corporate ladder, who can get what they can get for themselves, and who's doing better than who in competition and all these things. Mm -hmm. well, it's been purposely implemented simply because it's easier for those that rule the human farming to control others. Uh, because when they're in a community and they're self-satisfied, they can't be controlled. But mm. when they're distorted and yes. deceived, then they can be controlled. So people love their deception. So, you know, these are the people that you see, uh, you know, voting for their candidates that are just paid actors. They love to be deceived mm. and controlled. It's their choice. So you have free will. I've never seen a bird vote. <laughs> that would be funny. Have you, Val? Have you ever seen a bird vote? Uh, is there Not yet. Uh, you, you're talking to the birds and the creatures out there, the animals out there. Are they, are they discussing any of this, uh, Val? Yes. They haven't been discussing the election, no. No, oh, they, have, they haven't, really. They're just not keeping up with it, are they? Uh, <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys uh, you, do you get cable here? You guys get cable, you know? Yeah, give, them, give them that question. Do you guys get cable here? Yeah, it's rather humorous, isn't it? It's all very humorous. But it's okay. Uh, you, this is just part of the wake-up. And it's, it has to get brutal at times. Uh, you know, a car crash or 
falling out of an airplane or your house burning down or you got to go to war, that's part of the wake up. It has to get to the point to where, and this is where we're given the opportunity each lifetime, but it really doesn't have to get to that point at all because we've all been through that many times. We've died many times. We've killed others. We've been killed, uh, you know, deceived and, you know, et cetera, done everything. And now we're here. So <clears throat> we don't have to go through that anymore. But then there are those people that want to keep doing it. So it's like, okay. Yeah, so I see what, again, what we're providing is wonderful. It's so simple. Just keep it simple. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like to see people light up. That's the whole idea. Yeah. And what they have their idea of me is, is, well, whatever. But it's not that at all. I'm just sharing my real experiences like everybody else. That's all. I love it. I like the kid. I like to hear the stories. I like to hear the adventures. Because it becomes part of my real awareness to where I, I can better operate and uh, provide what I do and make better choices also. That's all. All right. Well, I'll use some of that as well. And You're amazing, Chris. You figure it out. Yes. I know I, uh, as I'm going to write something or the next course is I just finished number seven here on uh, life levels. Uh I don't know what's coming up next or what I'm going to write. And then I just kind of wait and then I start to see the basic idea. And then I start to write it. And, yeah, the challenge is always there. I've got to create it to where it makes sense and that it's workable and beneficial uh, for others. And so always the challenge. And you, too, thank you so much. Uh, this is great because there will, you know, from this, I know that there will be at least one person somewhere that will step up. We may never know them, but uh, but I'm sure there will be many. So it's cool, yeah. And life supports us. That's the best part. Yeah, the whole of life supports us. We don't have to struggle and look for the light of life, which is really usually the secondary light. But the whole of life supports us because we know about the is, the isness. And this is our focus and our intent. See, intent is very important. Where to place your intent. And this is where most people don't know. So they need to know about the isness so you can place your intent with the isness and then you pivot from there. Yeah, it's very important. It's not just having ideas and creating something. This is where, you know, when people take something, oh, they can have a good idea and it can go this way or that way. But the end result, it'll all fizzle out because it's in creation. You know, you need the support uh, with your real awareness with the whole of life. You really do. Otherwise, what have you got? You've got creation and the appearance of that. That's nothing. And also, another another thing with the um, new presentation um, is that you um, you can stop searching because everybody is searching for the truth. But when you actually uh, become aware um, of of the is, you know, you can stop searching um, in terms of in creation. Of course, I know that we have um, um, other realms, um, you know, to 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 get to. But, but in terms of um, you know, uh, people on earth uh, doing their research and trying to find out is. They're God, is there not a God? What's true, what's not? Now, this is what I, I found anyway after uh, coming across a new presentation. I, I found that, you know, my, my search is over, really. Yeah, you were searching for that position to start from. You know, it's kind of like looking for the train station to get on your trip. And this is why many times in people's real side experiences or your dream visions, your dreams, that you know people are at the train station uh, ready to get on the train. And many times they will have their baggage with them, with them or their luggage. And I've known many people that have experiences to where all of a sudden then the, then the experience itself ends. And see, they want to get on the train, but they have their baggage, you see. And when you get on the train, you don't need baggage. You see, they're trying to get on the train with the baggage. It's kind of like trying to get through the narrow door, and you got these two suitcases, and you can't quite get in, right? Well, you just let them go. You don't need them. 
and then get on and then you're fine and that's what it's about so yeah the idea of truth is uh, is real according to the individual everybody has their own truth but real truth is the all aliveness life is and that's what everybody's looking for uh, people can say this is truth or that's truth but that's fine but that's personal truth and they can say well God is truth or Jesus or uh, you know uh, life is love or all these things that's their personal truth that's in creation that's not the true reality life is but they can decide that if they wish and they decide if they wish to go further because it's recognition it's recognizing the true reality yes and that shows up on the real side and those that can see the real side and others they they will see those that do recognize it at some point or whatever you see so but again it's an individual affair yeah the world is full of its own truth it's full of itself and that's all fine again nothing is negated it's choice people have free will they have the right to do whatever they want and and it's all fine we're just providing an option yes yes a fun one real one yeah. yes we are real Okay, kids, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, everybody, for showing up. And thank you, Frida from Ghana and everybody else uh, from across the world. And it's always wonderful to hear your voice and uh, see the real you here, uh, all you wonderful beings. Thank you so much for showing up. Uh, yes, I'm very grateful to know all of you. I truly, truly am. Yes, and the adventure goes on.